Black Shale. Uh, Black Shale is actually a brand of Lincoln Green Brewing Company. It's their, um, shall we say, their craft beer arm, as it were. Um, and this is Rattlejack, and it's a West Coast Pale. Um, 5.9%. And, uh, yeah, brewed at Lincoln Green Brewing Company. I know it was, but I uh, just to check myself. So, quick pour it out. I can't remember if I've set it up for um, live reviews or I clicked on un unlisted. Oh well. So, in my Lincoln Green Brewing glass. It's got a bit of a head on it, mate. Look at that for an head. Good afternoon. So, obviously, a nice golden pour with a head that's just ridiculous, but Hey, it should calm down soon on a very cold day in the middle of at the end of December, the last day of December. Oh. So on the nose, while I can actually smell the nose, <sighs> subtle, but ci citrus elements on the nose, combination of both actually, citrus and tropical. Only downside is the bloody, um, because it's so far down, I'm not going to get to that just yet. So, out of the can for the time being. So, obviously, like, always clean cans. You know, depending on where you are, supermarkets especially, you should never, ever drink out of an unwashed can top. Because in supermarkets, there are things such as birds flying in. There are always rodents uh, in and around supermarkets. And it's always a thing, you know, you've got to be careful in life. So, yeah, definitely citrusy aroma. Nice twang to it. And obviously once the head's gone down on the glass, I'll be able to um, drink it out of the bottle. Out of the glass, rather. So that's strange being on live this time, though, because people keep coming on and going off. And obviously, the usual crowd that seemed to appear, it's a, in reality, I should have just put it on unlisted. But hey ho. Obviously, now we're all in um, <laughs> tier four, not the old country now. Good old Isle of Man, <laughs> they've they, they closed their borders. You can't fault them, can you? Close your borders. No, no, none of your lot in. Get lost. We'll, see, we'll be. We'll be COVID free. Stuff the rest of the UK. You can't fault them. Um, yeah, very different. So, yeah, if you've seen this anywhere, you'd have thought, yeah, Lincoln Green do that. And obviously, you know, it tends to be these days that breweries are bringing out. <laughs> Aha, I've just had an email klaxon. So I might actually get some people coming on to have a nose <laughs> Instead of these people who keep looking, coming on two seconds and they've gone again. Oh, it's nice to test that email claxon every now and again, see if it actually bloody works. But yeah, so a uh, slightly hazy pour. Uh, that might be just because of the cold, to be honest, because it is chilly in here. Hence the reason why I've got a full on winter jacket on, because uh, it, it was absolutely Baltic in here earlier. And uh, it's warming up nicely now. I've had the fire on for an hour and a half and it's just starting to warm up. It's a full eight degrees in here. So it's not freezing, but it's not bloody warm either. But yeah. I've only ever seen three beers by Black Shale. And uh, obviously it's Lincoln Green's uh, craft beer arm, as it were. And uh, so Rattlejack is another one I reviewed. And then there's Fire Damp which is an 8.5% beer as well. So, um, yeah, free. I think Fire Dance is probably my favourite. This is a nice, easy-going beer. It's 5.9%. It's yes. So, yeah. Oh, and it's nice to be down the beer room, out of the way. Just chilling. Set my games consoles up now. And it's funny. Bloody TV broke the other day, and now I can't get my PS3 on. So, one thing after another. Obviously, I've done something. I've 
you know, really, the old game consoles are so unpredictable at times. Luckily, I've got multiple PS3s that I've, I've actually hacked over the years. So, easygoing IPA, subtle citrus and tropical aromas, for me anyway, um, very warming. Um, and that's saying something in this beer room at the moment. It is cold, um, obviously. New Year's Eve, everyone's preparing for New Year's Day. Luckily, the kitchen now has got no leak in it. Yes, yeah, just what you want. So Christmas Day, the eating breaks. Then the bloody TV breaks in the shed. And then you have a piss poor leak. You have a leak in the kitchen. You know, you can't write this stuff, can you? And now my PS3's gone down. Oh, bless you. A few beers tonight, definitely. So now you're back in tier three again, then. Hey, good afternoon. Oh, bless you. Brew dog layer cake. No, took the back off. Couldn't see anything wrong with it. I think the power pack's gone. The father-in-law, he had it for so many years. We've had it for so many years. It's a big 42-inch TV, so it's a bit of a loss, really. But I've got another 32-inch, so... And somebody actually gave me an old computer, well, an old TV the other week. Little one, but an old one. And that's perfect. So I've actually still got my setup. Now my PS3 won't turn on. Good afternoon. And same to you as well. Let's hope we all have a good 2021. Can't be any worse than this year, can it? I mean, let's be fair. Been a funny old year. And uh, it's a full eight degrees in the bare room. I've actually got my full on winter. Uh, I've just bought it the other day from Decathlon. It's the strong, it's the highest warmth tog on a jacket. And uh, it's lovely and warm. I mean, I've got the fire on as well, but oh, good afternoon. So, yeah, West Coast IPA from Black Shale. Black Shale, it, it's warming my belly up, I tell you. Black Shale is Lincoln Green Brewery's craft beer arm, as it were. Several breweries do this. No, 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 no. I'm actually sad. It's, it's actually quite warm in here, to be honest. But uh, it wasn't earlier. Bloody hell, it was freezing earlier. So, yeah, Black Shale, as you can see here, this is Lincoln Green Brewery's Fire Damp. £6.95 for this puppy, but it is nice. 8.5%. And it's their New World Old Ale. Brew dog, you know, um, that's eight point five percent. This is five point nine percent. Brew dog, you know, they, they, they were the first ones to bring out this uh, using the distilleries to do, um, and sanitizer. They're not daft. They know. Same with this climate thing. They announced they're buying all this forest, but they're getting the people who go to Brew dog to do equity, so. They get money off Brewdog beer. So it's a very, uh, you know, you can't fault their business techniques because you get the public to do it. It makes them look great. And they're not really spending any of their own money. Yeah, they're not daft, are they? They're not daft at all. Oh, good afternoon. I didn't think no one was going to come on at one stage. And then, then the klaxon went off the email. And I thought, man, maybe some, you know, because obviously this time of the day, a lot of people aren't drinking. But, you know, after the, uh, after the lot pre-lockdown, yeah, I still think we're going into a full lockdown. I think tier four, we're going into tier four, but I don't know if tier four is strong enough. Um, you know. Yes, tier four in Nottingham now. Decathlon, a couple of days ago, yeah. Went to Ikea and bought... We, we preempted the fact that it was going to go into tier four. Oh, five hours in the pub, bless you. Can't fault you. Good afternoon. So I reviewed this earlier. A 0.0% easy IPA. Gotta say, it's not bad at all. I do find the traditional beer breweries a crap at making uh, alcohol free beer, you know, en masse. I find that the craft beer people can make better alcohol free. 
my opinion. Not that it really matters, does it? But no, no. Uh, you know, whenever I go into shops, I'll just if if anything's new. Good afternoon. And if anything's new, I'll I'll pick it up. But obviously, you know, if there's too much new, then you, you can't can't afford it for one. You know, it's it's uh, obviously you've all got a budget, haven't you, on what you can spend. Coast alcohol free only brewery. Ah, there's another one, Infinite Session. I'm sure they're alcohol free only as well, because I bought two or three of theirs uh, when I seen them anyway, at least. So yeah, quite nice and warm in here now. Full nine degrees. So the uh, thermometer says. Well, yep, yeah, we've gone up to nine degrees. <sighs> I'm hoping the supermarkets have a good change around next year. Yeah, big drop I've had this. I think it was a stout. Really nice as well, to be fair. And so, some of these, they're really good. As with supermarkets, I'm hoping there's a big uh, range review this year. North Star, oh, brilliant. I've got a Lurvik beer up on the wall, just, just behind that can. Just there, little, you can just about see the blue. Um, but yeah, North Star's amazing. Um, I might take a bottle of me Imperial, one of me Imperials up the house, the cherry one, cherry and vanilla, and get it warmed up, ready for to do a review later. And, but I need some food in me first before I get too drunk. Um, there's only so much drinking you can do without having a good dinner behind you. I tend to not have a dinner all day, and I'm the same at work. I don't eat at work. I do a full day's work. I don't know how I don't know how I manage it. Get home and then have something to eat about seven o'clock. Yeah, I still put my weight on. Obviously, the beer's not open, but hey, have advice, aren't you? You know, two weeks off already gone tonight. Mm. I might get some duck out. I did some duck for the wife the other day and I was pissed up as well. No, no steak. I had steak last night. Fillet steak, mushrooms, um, chips, pepper sauce, you know, pepper uh, sauce over. Oof, I love that, I do. And now that the kitchen's out of the way, you know, it's all fixed, it's all repaired, it's all dried up. Bar the bottom underneath the floor that I can't get to. Uh, yeah. Been a funny old Christmas. It's been testing. Yeah. And then you look at the news and you think, oh God, I can't listen to the news anymore. I just can't stand it. But my me, me beer room's coming back how I want it to be now. Once I get rid of the, the TV that's broke, chuck that bugger away, get it cleaned up, and uh, yeah, back to normality. Uh, I've got, a, I've got uh, a wine kit to brew tomorrow. Uh, no, not tomorrow. These days, you're thrown out by these flipping days. Unless you're back at work, um, the days throw you out. You know, I think earlier, what day is it? And I know it's New Year's Eve, obviously, but I couldn't figure out what actual day it was. But Thursday. But, so, going down the tree, gotta say, very nice beer. Um, just a bit out of date, I think. I think, this, I think it's out of date. I know it's on my short date area. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Ran out of date in November, so I don't give the monkeys about dates anyway. To be honest, it tastes bloody good anyway. That's the main thing. Might even get the prosecco out later. Take the prosecco up the ass and crack a bottle of prosecco open at the uh, the chimes of New Year. Or just look out the front door tonight. Can't fault you there. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, getting bladdered. I get bladdered every flipping night. I need to count. I need to stop doing it. Really, uh, I've got to lower my consumption. You know, towards going on. That's for sure. Um, but when you're back at work, you get home later. You're not drinking as much. You know, a couple of beers, and that's it, probably. And I will be doing more alcohol-free stuff. Well, in between bits, obviously. You know. Yeah. No good reviewing alcohol-free every day. Never get drunk. That's it. Yeah, it's you're busy. And uh, I mean, I'm 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 really, really hoping that he turns around and says, uh, because of tier four, 
I want you to do two days work. Yeah, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? Hot tub reviews. You're not here, though, because of the bubbles. <coughs> and you want to see me in water. Fucking hell. Like a blancmange in water. Although I'm not that heavy, to be fair. A little bit of weight on the belly, but I'm slim all over. But hey, you've got to have advice in life, haven't you? You know, because if you did everything, if you if you listen to what the papers say and what and what the media say, you'd never drink, you'd never eat sausage or bacon, you'd never have toast, and uh, <sighs> me too. Yes, I'm definitely. I'm definitely looking to get past these months, get the job at work sorted out, and get to the nice side. I've I've. I've been there four months. I've had to, and I'm still doing it, still radically changing what was there. Once it's all tickety-boo, then I can start to really, really enjoy, you know, just the, the titillating side of gardening rather than the, the full-on ripping everything out and starting against side of gardening. But, you know, got to enjoy a challenge, haven't you? Yeah. Got to make the job look like it's my a full-time job. I don't want to... Sometimes you can be too good at your job and make it look too easy. I had that on my old job where, um, not the little shit job. You'd be surprised. In proper gardens, there's more work in the winter than there is in the summer, funnily enough. Because in the winter months, with grass, you would do uh, scarifying, holotining, which is like spikes into the grass. You would top dress it. You would half moon all the edges. You'd prune. Yeah, let's hope for flipping do. So yeah, there is a lot to do in the winter. Where I am, because it's it's not been looked after for years, it's a it's a thing where you you're really having to do loads in the winter time. But you know, and I'm setting the the groundwork. I'm putting flower beds in, um, compost areas. Getting, you know, there's so much work. I mean, it is for a gardener. It's a fantastic job. I've just been asked to have people there to talk to now and again. Because when you see no one all day long, it's it can get a bit, uh, a bit lonely in some ways. You know, to, talking to the partridges. I had a full-on conversation with one the other day. He walked by me, about 10 foot away. Um, I actually do free gardens. One, she's miss, basically my adopted sister-in-law. I do their garden. They're, he's 80, she's 70. And uh, since I've took it over, their garden looks amazing. You know. And I do another lady, she's in her 80s. And same with her garden. Her garden has come on. In the year I've been doing it, absolutely amazing. You know, I've made the job so easy now. So when I go round, and because there's, it's, it's already at high quality of gardening, it's so easy, just to, it's a quick tickle over, quick mow, bit of uh, pruning, and that's it, go. So, it's not that I want to earn money from them, it's that I want to make the garden look great. And if only all gardeners were like that, you know, robbing old people. And then the other bloke, the one who's, he had a fall at, just before Christmas, and I've not heard from him actually, I'm going to send him an um a new, you know, Happy New Year's Eve and send it to his daughter as well so she gives me some feedback and finds out what's happening. But his garden, massive garden, about half an acre. Yeah, that's the thing with all gardens. Like your house when you move into a house. You know, you move into a house that's a bit of a shithole and it's all hard work from the start. Just changing things to, our, you know, putting your stamp on it. And then once you've got it there, then it's easier. I mean, with all these gardens, like the, the old fellas I do, he's in his, I presume, his late 80s, you know. And I, you know, pray, I hope he's all right. He's in hospital, so not the best place to be. Yeah, fucking ass. Yeah, tell me about it. Fixing leaks in the kitchen. I fixed the leak. We, we, we had no money last year. Someone gave us a sink. And uh, instead of putting flexi hose in to go from the basically the hot water to the tap. One's called Kellum Country Manor Hotel and the other one's called Cockliffe Country House Hotel. So if you look on Facebook, you'll see where, and the bloke in charge, and the owner, 
he's actually, you see the praise he's actually showered on me. It will be, yeah. This Cal Rick Callum, this Callum Hall, which is a, like a, a country, oh, fuck me. Um, it's like a big hall and uh, I can't think of a word now. Country Park sort of thing. And across the road is Callum Country Manor, which is a nine acre site, woods, big paddock, and then the grounds and that. And it's amazing, you know, I, I never thought, I, one thing I hate doing is driving a long distance to work. Flipping hate it, absolutely hate driving. And uh, Callum's like 35 to 40 minutes away. Cockliffe is 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, they've got weddings galore for next year. Obviously, there's a chance that they may have to move along. <laughs> Fucking hell, don't talk to me about isolators and that. Yeah. And it's always, with that, it's always amazing. That you could, I went to Wix yesterday and there was a certain connection that I needed. I've got an isolator valve and an isolator valve. The pipe that I used was a, basically an old washing machine pipe, you know, the fucking flexi things. And because it's not, it's not made for that job, but I made it, I retrofitted it to make it, you know, put a, put a, a wa washer on and then screwed it in, loads of PTFE tape. And uh, the, one of them is holding fine, but one of them obviously pissing out, we didn't know. So then I got the flexi hose yesterday, the metal flexi, much better. But what I wanted to do was connect one to the other. You couldn't do it the way I wanted to do it. I ended up having to get one with a built-in um, isolator valve in it, but turn it the other way around. So basically, the isolating valve is on, on the wrong way around. But it's done it. Jobs are good. It saves me getting a bloody plumber out, you know, to fix it. Nice when you've got the tools as well. Although I borrowed somebody some tools and the bar stewards never brought them back. Then you ask him for them and it's like, a, oh no, I, I ain't got them anymore. You fucking have. Then you can't boot probably. Just won't give me, won't borrow them anymore again. There's always a way around that. So going down on this lovely twang in the end to it. A really enjoyable beer. Good. Decent pub beer, in my opinion, 5.9. Nice strength. Definitely tropical with a bit of citrus in. And, uh, yeah, very easy going. Yeah. I'll just sit back and chill out a bit more. I've all got the arse in. But, uh, I'll make out it was harder than it was down the shed. But, uh, apart from a bit of cleaning there and getting rid of some crap, it's, it's nearly there. I've got my roller coasters to put back on them on the on the walls. So I've got two connects roller coasters. So all good fun building them. Yeah. All good fun when all the pieces are in the kit. And uh, when the pieces aren't in the kit, it's a shit bag because obviously, you know, you can't finish the bloody roller coaster. I've got two that I couldn't finish because the pieces were missing. And these are kits from straight from the, you know, not off eBay, but straight from you know, the company itself, useless. Yeah, so I'm going to probably do a review about six o'clock and uh, then probably sit down and watch TV tonight. See what's crack a lacking. See it's out decent on TV. Now, like I say, you can't go anywhere, can you? That bloke who was in there, Tesco, was yesterday next to me who was buying all the whiskey and all the beer and that. He'll be lucky if he has his party tonight. Although I... You know the rich, they can do as they please, can't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I think I'll end up doing a, a review about eleven half eleven. Depends how knackered the wife is. If she falls to sleep early because she's knackered, then I probably will go downstairs and do a review in the kitchen. Not certainly not in the shed. No, it's too bloody cold. I mean, the gas fire's been on for hours and it's warmed it up, but it's still, you know, it's still quite cold in here, really. You can't win mean, because the summer months. In the summer months, it's like a bloody oven in here. But in the summer months, I can do outdoor reviews. And I've got it set up. I've got my decking set up. So where my seat is, I can actually sit down 
and do reviews. The only problem is I've got the neighbours across who's, who's, they back on to us so they can sit there looking at me doing reviews, which I don't like, you know. So I'll have to sort out uh, some sort of thing out of signs where I can put the camera. Well, yeah. They're looking and thinking, what's he doing there talking to a camera, the dickhead? You know, you know, you look at yourself and you think, why is he talking to that phone? Drinking a beer and talking to the phone. Yeah, weirdo. But he's a weirdo. And I bet my other neighbours think, God, he, he drinks a lot down that shed. Because every time I go up, I'm going up with about four or five cans. <laughs> That was lovely, me, me Lincoln Green Glass. I managed to get that for notes as well. They actually get it, mate. I says, can I buy one of your glasses? Oh, you can have it for free. Oh, brilliant. So, yeah, Black Shale. Um, I like the idea of having, having a craft beer brand. Um, it doesn't... Yeah, the wood. I'll probably get arrested as well. <clears throat> Unless they land it, you know blokes with big bellies yeah <laughs> um there's a nice twangy uh west coast ipa my next door neighbor lives on his own and he puts more wine bottles in his bin than i ever do in his body must just be full of wine i see him every day like three or four bottles going in the bin i'm thinking shit and I thought, I drank a lot. And I look at him and I think, fucking hell. I'm just a newcomer to the drinking ranks when it comes to that sort of thing. Uh, and these are bottles of wine he's necking. It'll, ne it'll never get coronavirus because uh, coronavirus won't get through all them tannins. You know, Jesus Christ. And uh, He's one of these that used to be in the pub every night. So, he, you know, he likes his beer. And wine, obviously. So, yeah. Yeah, really nice bit. Really enjoyed it. Um, great tasting throughout. The third of the black shale ones that I've tried. So, fire damp was one. This was the other rattle jack. I ain't got a clue what the other one was called. <clears throat> but yeah, nice tasting throughout. Subtle aroma, very subtle aroma, but uh, nice. Tr no, he's just a bit sad. <laughs> He's a big bloke and all, so he can, he, you know, he can drink more. I do find that the bigger you are, the more you can drink. Uh, we used to go on works outings, and uh, this bloke, we were on the way back, so we'd all been out all day drinking. On the way back, you're there in the pub, because you always had a, have, have a halfway house on the way back, primarily because everyone was asking for a piss. So there's a halfway house pub. Uh, back there, I think this was Skeggy. And... Um, Went to the pub there. I think that pub's closed now anyway. And in the space that we've drank one pint, this bloke, massive bloke, he'd done four. And you're like, Jesus Christ. And we weren't messing about either, but this bloke, woof, woof. God knows what he could drink in a day. You know, if he's still alive, because obviously all that, not good for your liver, all that. I mean, there, there are, you know, you do have to think to yourself, yes, I need to calm down, you know. So yeah, out of five for this fella. For me, about 4.3 out of five. Very enjoyable beer. Don't know if I'll ever see it again or whether it was just a one-off uh, that they brewed. But uh, interesting nonetheless. <laughs> and uh, that's it for this review. Better knock it off. It's already half an hour. Bloody hell. That's where you get the yakking. Um, thanks everyone for watching and uh, see you about six-ish. Yeah, cheers. If it's warm in here then. <laughs>